The Kurdish city of Kobani on the border of Syria and Turkey remains under total siege from Islamic State militants, with local militia reporting that they detonated a truck loaded with explosives and so foiled a suicide bomb attack on the centre of the city. With more, we are joined also in a repeat of Monday's show by Asa Fitch. Hi there, Asa. Thanks for joining Hi. us. Thank you. So, so update us. What's the latest on Kobani's status? Who's in control? Well, the Kurdish militia who are controlling this the city are still barely hanging on to that control. Uh, there have been some, as you said, some repeated assaults from the Islamic State fighters there. Uh, they're trying to pry loose the fragile control that still exists there uh, and take over the, the city. So it's, it's increasingly day-to-day. -day. It appears to be becoming more and more under Islamic State control. There was one estimate that even half or more than half of the city now is under Islamic State control. So it, it doesn't look good for the Kurdish uh, militiamen and some women, in fact, uh, defending the city at this point. The local Kurdish militia have been calling for reinforcements. Are they coming? Uh, are other Kurdish communities coming to their rescue at all? Well, that's a difficult question. A lot of Kurdish communities want to come to their rescue, but it's difficult because the, the Kurdish populations in Syria and Iraq are kind of spread out in little pockets. So there's not a lot of continuous Kurdish-controlled area that they can kind of send reinforcements from and to. Uh, you know, the problem is that they'd have to go through generally, you know, if they wanted to send uh, reinforcements from Iraq uh, to Kobani, they'd have to go through Turkey. And Turkey is not that, uh, you know, doesn't like that idea of allowing these militants to come through its territory and, and go to Kobani. So that's kind of, it, it's a thorny issue. And, and in fact, of course, the, the, the Kurds have been asking the Turkish uh, leadership to allow them to send more fighters into Kobani, but they've so far been very, very reluctant to, to let them do that. But Turkey has belatedly offered some help in terms of uh, bases near the border, right? Um, how significant is that? It could be significant. I mean, at this point, Turkey has offered to allow the use of uh, some of its bases for the for the training of moderate Syrian uh, rebels, opposition fighters, and but that process is going to take some time to train these guys to kind of fight back against ISIS in Syria, and they have not yet explicitly allowed for Turkish bases to be used for these airstrikes that the U.S. is carrying out along with uh, many of its allies against Islamic State in Syria. So the, the cooperation is there, but it's not, it's not sort of a, a full-on deal at this point. All right, Asa, thanks very much for your time. Thank you.